What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And today we got some pretty interesting news about Call of Duty Cold War and the return of the option to vote for the next map in a lobby. Uh, yesterday, of course, during the reveal event, there was a lot of, uh, you know, pro players, streamers, YouTubers, that kind of thing, playing in the reveal event. And today, Noah J did post an image, and I will link this down in the description if you would like to look over it for yourself that shows the option to vote for the next map in the lobby. So this was not a feature in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, of course. A lot of people wanted this feature, but it was never added. And this has kind of always been a classic feature in most Call of Duty titles, the option to vote you know, for the next map uh, after you have completed the previous round. And this has kind of uh, raised a lot of, of questions now exactly about skill-based matchmaking in-game. Because as you know, in the past, I made a video talking about uh, there were some leaks from an insider saying that Black Ops Cold War was going to have the same strict skill-based matchmaking that uh, Modern Warfare had. And that was kind of disappointing to a lot of players. Because while, yes, Treyarch Games always has skill-based matchmaking, it's a lot less noticeable than what we have experienced in Modern Warfare. But with the option of uh, being there kind of to be able to vote for the next map, that really makes a lot of people think, including myself, that you're not going to see so much skill-based matchmaking in Black Ops Cold War because it's going to keep lobbies together. If there's an option to vote for the next map, that means the lobby is going to stay together. People are going to have to back out if they don't want to be in that lobby anymore. It's not going to be like Modern Warfare where the round you know, kind of ends and it just throws you into a whole new lobby for the next round. If you're going to have the option to vote for the map, it should give you the option also to stay in that lobby. You know, you should not be swapping lobbies from round to round. You're actually going to stay in the lobby like you had in uh, past Call of Duty titles and then vote if you want to play, you know, this map or that map. You'll have a choice between the two. Or, you know, you can just back out of the lobby completely and find a new lobby altogether. So I think this is a good sign for, you know, what was supposedly supposed to be a big issue uh, in this year's title with skill-based matchmaking problems again. Hopefully this is going to be the case. Hopefully that was not just something in the alpha build. Hopefully this will be in the full game. We'll get to see when the beta comes out, of course. And I'm curious to see also how these lobbies will work. I'm assuming, like I said, it's going to keep you in that same lobby and allow you to vote for the next uh, map that you want to play. And I'm assuming it's going to keep everybody in that lobby together unless they decide to back out, which means it's going to be a lot more uh, enjoyable to play these public matches than it has been this past year in Modern Warfare. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the Community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.